What's going on people and welcome to my match preview for the weekend's game Arsenal versus Manchester United. I've got to be honest, I'm not confident about it. I feel like we can get a result if we show up, but Arsenal I think for me, in my opinion, will be in the top three at come the end of the season. I think we'll be just behind in fourth. I've gone for Arsenal to finish third. A lot of people got them second. I've gone for them to finish third. I think that at the Emirates, though, even though it's early on in the season, I feel like they're going to have too much quality. I feel like they don't concede like we do, don't make the same amount of mistakes as we do. Better in possession, attacking threat more. Um, I just think all over the field they're better than us, if I'm honest. And I can't see us getting... If we get a draw, I feel like that'll be like a win for us. I know it's Arsenal and they're a massive rival, but current climate of both football clubs, I would be happy with a draw at the Emirates, I've got to be honest. And if we get three points, of like miracles happen. So that's my stance on it and my view on it. I, as I said, I, I can't see us getting three points. And I think if we get a draw, I'll take that every day of the week. Prediction for it, I've gone 3-0 Arsenal because I just think that they're a quality side they got hunger, they got fire, and they got togetherness that I don't think we've got, and fluidity that I don't think we've got. So, hopefully we can get something, but as I said, it's going to take a lot, and decisions and a bit of luck, and yeah, 3-0 Arsenal for me. Um, for my lineup, I've gone with Anana, Aaron Wambasaka at right back, Lindelof and Martinez as the centre backs, because obviously Varane went off against Forest and. He's very injury prone, Varane, so I wouldn't even risk him for this. I, I know it's a big game, but I think Lindelof can come in and do a job. Maybe not as at Varane's level, but he's not shabby, I don't think. I know he's not always consistent, but Lindelof and Martinez at centre back for me. Delow at left back, because I would have had Malasia there, but obviously he's injured as well as Shaw. I don't think Shaw's performances anyway, if he wouldn't have been fit, he definitely would have been picked, but I don't think his performances anyway have been good enough, so. I would have dropped him for Malasia if Malasia was fit, but both of them are not, so Delo remains at left-back. Uh, I've gone with two in the midfield. I usually just go with Casemiro, but I haven't been impressed with him so far this season on the whole, and I think he gets ran by too, too easily. He doesn't have the recovery pace, and he makes a lot of mistakes for a player that we know what his heights and levels and capabilities are. So I would put someone in there with him, and I wanted to put in Mount, but obviously Mount's injured. We've got a ton of injuries. I'd have even that Mainu, the youngster in the midfield with Casemiro, but he's injured as well. So because of lack of, of backups, I don't think Eriksen can do it because he's not robust and combative enough. So I have to put McTominay in, and you know how I feel about McTominay. But because of lack of choices, options, I'd go with McTominay and Casemiro in the midfield. I just hope that neither of them gets sent off. Because that's another thing as well. They're both really, really bad for picking up cards. Three behind the striker. I would go with Garnacho on the right because I'm not a fan of Anthony. Don't want him playing. Sancho has not impressed me at all when he's featured, even coming off the bench. So for me, Garnacho has to play if he's fit. I think he's got no fear factor. He's consistent. I think he's just as good when he starts games. There's this myth that... He hasn't proved it starting games yet, but I think he looks just as good when he starts as when he comes off the bench, but he's just not always given the trust in the opportunity. And I think in terms of results and what he gives to you game for game, he should be one of the first names on the team sheet, regardless of his age. Garnacho on the right, Bruno at 10, Rashford on the left, because that's where you get the best of him. I don't like him as a number nine, and I think you just get the best of him in the, on the left. And then Martial up top, because I'd go with Hoyland, but I know he's not fit yet. So until he's fit, it's going to have to be Martial. Um, I don't think any of the youngsters are ready to step up and take that mantle. And they never get given the opportunity anyway. Um, so until Hoyland is fit, I don't want to see Rashford playing as nine, because I just don't think he can do it. Um, and Martial is just... I'd rather we sell him and get some money from him if we can, because he's another one like Varane that's injury prone. And he could have a great performance, but then the next game he's injured and he's hardly ever available. So I like Martial, but we're going off past performances from years back, if we're honest. Um, we have to let go of that at some point. But because of lack of options and choices, again, similar to the McTominay situation, I've had to throw certain people in here. Martial is another one that goes in. So that is my lineup, guys. I think this is one of the pretty much automatic three points for me, in my opinion, of the season just because of where both clubs are at 
Hope you enjoyed it, guys. I'll see you soon. Enjoy the weekend's football. And I'll catch you guys soon.